as companies like Moderna and Pfizer race to use cutting edge mRNA technology to deliver the first set of coronavirus vaccines, Novavax took a different approach. The Maryland biotech company used insect cells to produce the coronavirus's unique spike protein, which can then be introduced to patients to prime their immune systems. This process is known as a recombinant protein vaccination a tried and tested method that has been used for viruses like HPV, hepatitis, and influenza. So recombinant protein vaccines aren't actually that unique. We've been using them for 20 plus years. They're very, very reliable because you just make the protein, you present it to the immune system, the immune system recognizes it as something that's foreign, and it generates an antibody and immune response to it. So far, we've, we've known from prior research on SARS and MERS that if you want to protect against a coronavirus infection, you need an immune response that targets the spike glycoprotein of the virus. It's what's responsible for binding to host cells, our cells, and getting into our cells. And so if you have an immune response that targets the spike like a protein, it can literally block the direct interaction of the virus and the host, which is us. For the recombinant protein vaccine to be successful, it needs billions of copies of the spike protein. And to do this, the team at Novavax have hijacked the ovary cells of the fall armyworm. Viruses can be really specific. So we have viruses that only attack insects. You can put a gene into that virus you can infect that insect cell and that it acts just like a normal viral infection. And in this case, we put the spike gene in and you get a ton of spike protein. The structure of the insect cell, even though uh, you know, it's an insect, is, is in, in its organizational features is very much like your and my cell. And so you get a very high fidelity reproduction of the spike protein as it would be in you. So we want to make sure it looks like what it would be like in you. So when you make an immune response and you see the virus, the, the match is perfect. So, so that's what the insect cell does. A huge advantage of Novavax's vaccine is that it can be stored in your typical refrigerator, making it much more accessible than the mRNA vaccines, which require sub-freezing storage. The recombinant protein vaccines are going to play a role in enhancing accessibility and availability of these vaccines because not everyone lives nearby a distribution center that can give that can store vaccines at minus 80 and distribute them these vaccines have longer shelf life at, at more forgiving temperatures and so you're going to be able to get these vaccines throughout the u.s in areas that might otherwise be underserved and under resourced Early phase three trial results for Novavax's vaccine show it's about 90% effective against COVID-19, up there with the 95% effective Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. If you'd asked me last year, if, vac if I thought these vaccines would have 90% efficacy, I would have laughed. That is so, it's almost, uh, it's unthinkable. So three vaccines now showing 90% efficacy, it really works. I have been telling everyone, family, friends, you can get the first vaccine that's available to you because all of these so far have shown excellent efficacy. They, they have great immunogenicity. These small differences between 95% efficacy and 90% efficacy are basically irrelevant on a population, on an individual scale. Um, you just want a vaccine in you that's gonna give you some protection.